Alright guys. And I don't know what happened to our beautiful morning, our <laughs> beautiful morning here in paradise. Over the last 20 minutes has pretty much, I don't know, disappeared under a great blanket of something. But at least it is a little bit warmer today here on, uh, where are we? We're up to a Thursday, January 18th, 2024, down here at the dock. Looking over the Withlacoochee River, hanging out uh, with my, with my bird friends. <laughs> it's weird how I, how I know these individual birds now. It's, it's, it's like I've just become one of the family with these birds. They all know me. They all know Sancho. And so, uh, this fella just left. So when I got down here, there was this fella. He was kind of fishing out on the dock. Uh, but not really, and, uh, he didn't seem that much in the mood to talk, so, you know, he packed up his fishing pole, and, uh, so obviously I asked him, you know, giving up already, and, uh, the guy, he, he almost starts crying, not quite, uh, and he goes, well, he goes, I wasn't really fishing. After he pulls his hook with the worm on it out of the water. And uh, I said, oh, really? I said, it looks like to me you were fishing. And he goes, no. He goes, I lost somebody I loved last night. And... Uh, came down here <coughs> to uh, whatever and this is where he came to to think about his lost loved ones uh, I'm assuming they died uh, but you never know maybe maybe his doomer chick forever just broke his heart I don't know but I'm assuming that he lost someone he loved last night, meaning a friend or a family member or something. And you could tell he was taking it, taking it pretty hard. <coughs> so it seems like a, that line out of, uh, What's this? White Freightliner Blues by Towns Van Zant. Bad news from Houston. Half my friends are dying. Well, I think at last count, uh, this bad news from Austin. Uh, at last count, four of my friends are in various stages of dying. Th these are all guys, of, you know, roughly my age. And I, so I've been thinking a lot about thinking a lot about death and dying and you know I, I, I've, I've had this ran a couple of times before I think there's a boat coming in so I'll have to shut up but uh, you know I just, I just don't get it I, I, I feel like I I have a, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, there, is there a word for it where you don't grieve the death of, of loved ones? That uh, when my friends and family members and various people I love, when they, uh, 
when they die. It's just... I mean, obviously, you know, it, obviously, I um, feel bad that I will never see my friends again. You know, there, there, there's that level of grief. Uh, but I just, <clears throat> I don't know if, if, if I had gotten the news last night that uh, somebody I loved had died. Uh, it, it's weird just how little it affects me. And I don't apparently feel grief the way that a lot of people do. Uh, over over the death of uh, over the death of a loved one, and am I just what am I some sort of monster? You know, it's like when my own mother died. Uh, well, that whole story. I mean, it was it was just a big sigh of relief. Is is all that was to me? I you know I, I don't go to funerals. I, I don't understand the the entire concept of funerals. Uh, now I do go to wakes. There is a uh, slim. Uh, I, I I am a, a wake kind of guy. I will go. I will go to wakes. But funerals, I just, I just don't fucking get the whole creepy, macabre, uh, just, and, and of course the industry built around it. The American Way of Death, that book by Jessica Mitford. If you have not read The American Way of Death, my Jessica Mitford, who of course is from England, <clears throat> but I I don't think is much different in England. Uh, they might be even creepier than Americans about it. You know, th th this is one where I am uh, I am with the noble savages. Uh, you know. Put them on a big pile of sticks and light a match. Uh, bid your fond farewells and move on with your life. Life is for the living. Uh, and, and and I think part of my lack of of grief is, <clears throat> you know, if if you have a death wish yourself, you're you're kind of jealous. There's always that element when uh, I hear about uh, get the the bad news from Austin that half my friends are dying. There, there's always that element. I'm lucky bastard. <sighs> That's when you're. How can you feel sorry for someone uh, you know ending their pain? But anyway. Life goes on for the rest of us. And here comes some blue sky back again. Life goes on. And on and on. Ah, oh, fuck. So what am I getting ready to do while half my friends are dying and fucking planets burning 
well, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to finish this cup of coffee <clears throat> down here on this beautiful dock. I'm going to get my gas-sucking truck and drive to Lowe's. Wanna, what's on my shopping list at Lowe's? A, <coughs> a big curtain rod, a toilet seat, some outlet covers, and some sandpaper. And that's my day. I will probably stop by Habitat for Humanity, look for a goddamn bathroom vanity. I love that name, vanity. A bathroom vanity. <laughs> Where did they come up with this? Vanity, vanity, all is vanity. Ecclesiastes is one of the few biblical characters <clears throat> who I can relate to. <sighs> Jesus Christ. How many more toilet seats will I buy in my fucking life? planet eating is this is one of these <clears throat> I think one of these uh, millionaires down down the river here they're building their new boat dock they're building their new private boat dock behind their house I guess the boat dock they already have was not good enough so they're going to build a brand new, better, bigger boat dock. Fucking hilarious if, if we weren't so goddamn dangerous with all of our holier than thou thoughts about death and dying and <sighs> these birds do they ever you know, how, how do birds, right? I hear that uh, elephants and whales grieve their dead. And other than humans, I guess may probably, uh, <clears throat> probably chimpanzees, elephants, and whales grieve their dead. Does this there's this bird out here? Does he spend half his life thinking about his death? <sighs> All right, we have I think we have the these might be purple gallinules. They got some new characters. What are they? These might be. Are they just a good old coots? I guess those are just coots. These are the coots. They have found each other. Let's be nice. Blue herons seem to hang out by themselves. Most of these water birds, uh, the sandhill cranes, 
they hang out together. Still uh, waiting for the baby to get run off by uh, his parents. I'm surprised. I mean, it's getting Lord is getting in towards February, and this little uh, Klingon from last year can't leave the nest. Can't leave the nest. Well, I guess I'm gonna get up here and leave the nest of this dock because there's a toilet seat with my name on it. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go grace the toilet seat in Doomsday Trailer. The toilet seat will be used one more time, and then it too will be off to the dump. So we can get a new toilet seat. All right. Enough thinking about death and toilet seats. Get out there and enjoy your toilet seat before you're thinking about your own death. Bye guys.